according to uh, my experience, uh, uh, the PSWC meeting has been, um, uh, how can I say, interdisciplinary, uh, covers the interdisciplinary area. And many attendees are from all over the world. So then uh, I can enjoy the science and also uh, the uh, friendship from all of, from peop, uh, uh, from all over the world. Then uh, uh, that that deal with the emerging uh, science areas. Uh, that is a very nice meeting. Uh, I think that the um, PSWC, uh, the uh, the current, the incoming PSWC, will deal with the uh, emerging uh, pharmaceutical science area. Uh, I probably I think it's better for me to say uh, some important keyword for for the coming meeting. That is the uh, biomarkers and also. Uh, systems biology and systems pharmacology and predicted toxicology and the uh, modeling and simulations and then uh, uh, molecular imaging such as the PET imaging or MRI imaging and cell, cell therapy by using the IPS or ES uh, cells and some other, you know, the, the drug delivery area, including nano uh, medicines. Those are really uh, very, very exciting uh, areas. I, I really want to enjoy those kind of sciences. Okay, uh, my, my keynote lecture will deal with the role of drug transporters in new drug discovery and development and also therapies. And drug transporters plays a very important role in drug disposition uh, in the liver, kidney, uh, brain, intestine, and many other tissues. So, you know, therefore, the controlling the drug transporter functions uh, we'll control the drug, discov uh, drug delivery to the target, pharmacological target tissue. And also can, it can avoid the distribution of drug molecules to the organs which is related to the toxic or side effect. So therefore, you know, the, uh, if we can control the pharma uh, drug transport function, we can get the new drug uh, candidate with maximum pharmacological activity and minimum uh, side effect. So I will share with you our most recent studies on the drug transporters, including the quantitative prediction of drug transporter function from uh, in vitro information and also some other molecular imaging uh, uh, the uh, data. Yes, uh, in the early stage of drug discovery, uh, of course, we don't have the animal data uh, or we don't have many other data, but we have the, uh, let's say, uh, in vitro or in silico data, including the uh, membrane permeabilities and the stability uh, in the blood and the tissues and also solubilities and also affinity of drug candidates to the target protein, more, uh, pharmacological target proteins and also affinity of that uh, candidate drugs to the target molecules related to the side effect, toxic effect. So therefore, you know, the from all of those in vitro and in silico informations, we can integrate all of those informations by using the 
so called physiologically based pharmacokinetic modeling. So then we can pick up uh, the good candidate drug and then we can uh, kill the uh, undesirable uh, drug candidate in the very early stage of drug discovery. That, so the, the keyword is the PB, PK modeling uh, using the in vitro data.